Hey everybody, John the Other here, obviously. Now, as you likely know, uh, Steve Pakin, the host of The Agenda, which is a public television in Ontario, um, Steve, has, Steve Pakin has been accused of a Me Too accusation of various kinds of sexual misconduct. And being Steve Pakin, the modern Mr. Rogers of um, public television, nobody believes that he's guilty of anything. The guy is Mr. Um, buttoned Down. And he responded uh, to this in a way that only Steve Pakin can with this most measured and polite and gentle response. But reading it, listening to it, you can tell he's he's both enraged and, I would say, very deeply wounded. And with just cause. And uh, one of the things that he said in his response was that the frivolous and phony accusation leveled against him should not be allowed to devalue or derail the Me Too movement, which is really important and too important to to degrade with phony, frivolous, false accusations such as the one level against him. And that's really what I'm responding to right now. Um, I guess everybody in public broadcasting, everybody with a job on TV or on the radio, kind of has to say something like that, that Me Too is important and I stand up for women and we need to have women speaking out and by golly, this is a really good thing. No, no, it's garbage. Um, that's garbage talk that people have to say to keep their job. Let's not pretend that that's real. I don't even think Steve Pakin thinks it's real. He's not a dumb guy. Uh, Me Too is the departure from civilization because what we're talking about are accusations of sexual misconduct and also sexual assault which is a crime. It's a, an actual proper crime that should be a crime. And we have courts for dealing with crimes. Uh, but women as a collective have decided that the courts are not the place for them. Too inconvenient, too slow. You need to have evidence. Uh, it doesn't give them the immediate gratification that they want. And so these accusations are going to get fielded in media and social media because that's quick, quick, destroy, throw the person in the gutter, move along. But, um, in doing so, we're departing from having a civilized society. We're, de we're leaving behind the idea that there is goodwill between people, not just the presumption of innocence that you have in a court of law until you're proven guilty beyond some reasonable doubt. No, the, the presumption of innocence that you share with other people every day in your life, we're throwing that out. And of course, this is manifesting in the Mike Pence rule, right? I won't have a meeting with a woman in behind a closed door. I won't share my car ride with a woman. I won't get on an elevator with a woman. I won't interview a woman. I won't have etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> no, Me Too is not an important movement that we shouldn't devalue. Me Too is garbage. It is the departure from civilized behavior. And anybody pushing for it is pushing for the erosion and the departure from civilization. So I and I know people on TV, people with you know public speaking jobs have to give this mouth these words, but let us not nod stupidly along and pretend that Me Too is anything other than a malicious vendetta, a witch hunt, garbage behavior from people who don't think they're accountable for anything. And I know that women are super duper 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 angry as anything. I don't care. I don't care. If you're talking about an actual crime, we have police and courts for dealing with that. Because what's going on now is just vigilante mob justice. And if that becomes normal, we don't have a civilization anymore. Now, the other thing that I've heard is the backlash. The backlash that is uh, coming or happening, or maybe it's just around the corner. You keep seeing articles, you keep hearing commentators talking about the backlash against Me Too. And, of course, what they're talking about is the Mike, the Mike Pence rule, guys who will not interview a female job candidate, guys who will not have a closed-door meeting with a woman, uh, male, lobby, male lawmakers who won't meet in their offices anymore with female lobbyists, and so on and so forth. Uh, the departure from sport of cheerleaders and line girls and uh, British darts getting rid of the, the female presenters, the segregation in the workplace of men and women – and, and the departure from intimate company in the workplace, closed-door meetings, and so on. That's being called the backlash, and that's, uh, I would say, um, idiotic. That's, it's, it's, it's very silly to call that a backlash. Men, men 
persistently implementing it, their own version of the Mike Pence rule, the rule of exclusion, is not a backlash. That is men precisely and obediently complying to the rules that women have laid down for them. There is no way to survive in the Me Too world, which is where we all live now, without implementing the Mike Pence rule, because otherwise what you're doing is you're playing Russian roulette with a revolver with six loaded shots in it. So it's not a backlash. It's, you might call it malicious compliance, but it is compliance with the rules as women are laying them down. So let's just stop with this backlash nonsense. That's my video. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for all the people helping to support the channel through Patreon and PayPal. There's links to that in the low bar should you feel so inclined. And as always, have a lovely, lovely day.